Mankind has sequenced the human genome and scientists are using this to explain several diseases of which the causes have been elusive for centuries. A geneticist studies the way genes control cells, particularly how gene mutations can adversely affect the cell and cause disease. A better understanding of these processes helps scientists to target research into novel treatments. Dr. Janine Schofield is a geneticist at the CSIR who now specializes in the field of stem cell research. A geneticist is someone who tries to understand how our DNA controls the cells in our body. And part of that means that a geneticist must also try and understand how mistakes in our DNA cause disease. My training as a geneticist led me into the field of stem cell biology. At the CSIR, my job as a stem cell biologist involves me trying to develop what we call models of disease in a dish in the lab. One of the projects that we're involved in here is trying to understand how HIV attacks the cells in our body and why some people, especially in the African population, are more susceptible to disease than others. One of the novel ways that we can investigate and research this particular question is by using this novel stem cell technology. The type of person who would enjoy research, scientific research in general, is someone who has a problem-solving mind. Um, you also have to be incredibly passionate about the research that you do. Um, it can be incredibly time-consuming and often exhausting work, so you have to really be dedicated to the subject and love the science that you're involved in. To become a geneticist, the subjects that you really should be doing at school include science, maths and probably biology. After that, you almost have to do a degree like a BSc at one of the tertiary institutes in South Africa. This type of subjects that you should be doing can range from cellular biology, microbiology, biochemistry, even a pure genetics major. After you've got your undergrad, if you really want to pursue the academic route, you need to go further and do a master's and PhD. The best way to go about getting a good master's and PhD in genetics is to find a research group or supervisor whose field of interest in one particular area of genetics is something that you really, really enjoy. The ideal way to specialize as a stem cell biologist in South Africa is really to get some overseas experience after or during your PhD. But following that, to, to come back and look for really good research groups that have stem cell expertise in their labs. 